In this Shaun and Liberty video, I bring you a complete guide on the fastest way to get those growth books for your skills. These are the passive skills, the active skills and the omnipotent skills, which are the skills that unlock upon you reaching a level 50. So let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and now I am away until the 5th of November. So the videos you're seeing right now from October 20th to the 5th of November are all scheduled. But I'm still doing those loose sync giveaways. In fact, when I return, I will pick multiple winners from the comments section of my videos scheduled while I'm away and then announce them when I do return. So to win, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick winners from the comment section. So the more I see you active across my videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck, everybody. So as you progress to a level 50, you earn tons of those growth books. Uh, the precious variants, you will start getting two, but eventually guys, you're gonna have options of getting these and you'll come to a point where I'm finding myself as of right now, and there's just limited ways of me getting these in regards to farming them. So as of right now, guys, I'm at a stage where it's 1000 times quicker to just craft these things. That's what I bring you guys today, the best way, the most efficient way and the fastest way you can get the materials in order to craft these in abundance so you can level up those skills. Okay, so if you head to the skill research vendor, you'll see the options you have here to craft these books. Now, it's the main three we cover today. These are the passive, the active and the omnipotent uh, skill growth books. But let's start and we'll start with the precious active skill growth books and the precious passive skill growth books. Uh, we will do these together as it takes the same materials to craft both. Now the omnipotent growth books require an extra material which we will cover after. Okay, so the precious active and the passive growth books require five precious parchments and one precious mound or to craft these. So we'll start with the parchments guys and as with most things in this game you can craft your way up by using the most common drops. In this instance the most common one in regards to parchments are the quality parchments. Now 15 of these are needed to craft that rare parchment where 15 rare parchments are required to craft a precious parchment. Now it seems like a lot when you look at it like this, but honestly it really isn't. You get quality parchments so often, in fact I'm sure they drop from almost every enemy, I'm not even joking. If you check where they obtain from, uh, you can see exactly what I mean. Now if your options are quite low, I feel going to the wolves or in the black hell plains, as these do drop these. I mean these are an easy enemy to gather up to, they're low level so you can take out multiple at a time and they have a good chance of dropping these quality parchments. But if you have them, I feel the best place to farm parchments is those open world dungeons. And when I mean if you have them, I'm talking about the abyssal contract tokens. Now open world dungeons drop parchments at a faster rate than any other place I've seen in this game. Now for me it does seem as though certain dungeons do have better drop rates, it might not be a thing but the Sorodoma Island drops crazy amounts of items for me, but it may be different for you, try and test guys. But as long as you have those Abyssal Contract tokens, it's definitely worth you farming these open world dungeons. But not only for the reasoning behind the fact that parchments drop, also you get a shit ton of those gems, those marine ores too. You get quality, rare and precious marine ores, which is what you want. Now, in regards to uh, what you need here, 15 quality marines to craft a rare and then 15 rares to craft a precious. One precious is needed to craft that growth book. So yes, farming the open world dungeon seems like the best bet in my opinion. Opinion. Like I said, you get tons of this loot. So you'll get parchments, you'll get ore, you'll get more or less everything you need to know to craft these growth books. You really will. Now, another way you can get quite a lot of these marine ores is by doing the Allied Resistance Forces contracts. So these are brought from the Sundry's Merchant, and you are limited on how many you can get per week. Each one you purchase though from the Sundry's Merchant gives you four of these contracts, uh, and these contracts always take place within the open world dungeons. So if you purchase all six, that's 24 of these Allied Resistance Forces contracts that you can indeed 
do. Now, each one you do, guys, you have a chance of getting that certain gem you need. Now, you can review all these so you can make sure you get that gem you want. And they give you a ton of them. And like I said, they always take place in those open world dungeons too. So if you're farming those open world dungeons for those parchments, for those marine ores, you may as well be doing these contracts at the same time to get even extra of what you need, guys. You also get contract coins for doing these at the same time. You can also use and buy these gems from the contract coins merchant although i will say these prices are a little steep and you're limited on how many you can purchase i probably wouldn't if i were you purchase these from the contract coin merchant for those contract coins but if you have them spare you gotta do what you gotta do people okay so what about the omnipotent skill growth books these require you to get one extra material and that material is the precious omnipotence parchment now this is indeed an item which you cannot craft so you have to rely on drops now in regards to where this drops from it seems the majority of level 50 enemies in and around that open world map can drop this but what i will say is it's probably going to be a rare drop here when you look at it another place you can get these and get them quite often which i recommend you farm for most materials today Again, it's from those open world dungeons. So if you have those abyssal contract tokens and you're farming those open world dungeons for those parchments and for those marine ores, there's a good chance as well, guys, that you'll get the precious omnipotence parchments too. Although, like I said, they are a much, much rarer drop. The majority of the ones I have have all come from the level 50 enemies within the open world dungeons. And considering most of the things we are farming for today come from open world dungeons, I feel it's the place you should be sticking too. Now if you don't have any abyssal contract tokens and this is the last ingredient, the last material that you do indeed need, you can always do those uh, co-op level 50 dungeons too. Now again these require you to have the dimensional contract tokens uh, which you get 900 of per day but with every level 50 dungeon you do it will take 300 of these but there's a chance and I think it's a high chance of you getting these precious omnipotent parchments from these at the same time. So yes open world dungeons are a great bet if you have those abyss of tokens if not guys use the dimensional ones within the level 50 co-op dungeons these are basically the only two i've done and i've got these in an abundance more of these than anything else if i'm honest with you so it's the parchments the standard parchments i need and the ore which is what i need but there we have it guys the best way in my opinion you can farm and craft these precious growth books i wish there was some shortcut i really do but unfortunately there really ain't so do what you gotta do guys and farm the heck out of said materials in order to craft these and there we have it guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more throw on and leave it to be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one